What's up to all my folks out in YouTube land? Drywall day. Skim Cody. And I got the youngster with me today. Get down! Alright, y'all be easy on her. She's she's 16. But she gonna she gonna do some drywall with me today. So let's get it going. Alright, y'all. First things first. The drywall was removed from the bottom of these walls because the customer said they were water damage and I didn't remove it. It was uh they called a restoration company in. Um so once they got it all dried out and everything, they called us to come in here and get these walls back in order. Now, the top part of the wall has a crazy uh texture on it. You know, back in the day. This house is probably from the 50s or the 60s. Back in the day, the uh, you know guys used to just do it themselves, do the texture themselves. So it's a, just a random texture. It's kind of all over the place. And then on top of the texture, they threw like fruit popcorn at the wall itself. So what I have my daughter doing in the video is scraping off the wall. So, I mean, as soon as she put the phone down. But... Yes, she's just scraping off the, the popcorn, not the actual texture. So uh, I'm gonna fill the texture in, you know, we're gonna skim coat that. The hardest part was actually getting the drywall down here because we kind of had to carry one sheet at a time because they, they did have built coat doors, but it was extremely steep and anyway, it was a lot and it was one of them 110 degree days outside. So it was some work just getting the drywall down here. And fathers, don't be scared to get your daughters out there helping you to do this work. Um, it's good for them. They learn a lot of these trades. And even if they don't choose to make it into a career in the future, they've been exposed to it. And also, most likely, whatever guy they meet is not going to know how to do anything, whoever they get married to. So it's good. Somebody's going to have to know how to do something. I mean, that's the society we live in now. So it is what it is. By the way, Daryl, also known as the finisher, Let's go. Now I'm just skim coating the wall and I'm using a, the mud pretty thick because, you know, I want to get the first layer as thick as I can because these ridges are kind of deep on this wall. So that's just what I'm doing. It's taking a little while, um, but that's how it goes. Which leads me into the topic of today, which is you saw the name of the video it was about, you know, the trades are hard. I just been seeing so many different videos for some reason in the in YouTube land about how easy the work is. Like everywhere I look, oh this is easy. Oh this carpet, I'm just framing this wall up. Oh, that's easy. I'm just I don't know what they're talking about. This work is hard. Trade work is hard. I mean you know, when I first started out, like, I, you know, I've said before, I was an insulator, you know, insulating houses and all that. Um, that was the hardest work I'd ever done in my life. I mean, the first day I started in the middle of the summer, uh, I lost about 35 pounds in the first month and a half uh, doing that kind of, uh, of doing insulation work. I don't know what, what people are talking about, how it's easy. Now, it's rewarding. It's rewarding if you're the type that likes to see a project come to completion or, you know, I mean, I love going somewhere like this, you know, where it's a lot of work. But in the end, I mean, the customer's just so happy about the job you did that, I mean, it's all worth it in the end. And I made some, I made some pretty decent money off of this job, you know, or in general. So it's worth it. Um, but the idea that the trades are easy. I get. The, let's take a list. Okay, let's let's look at a list of different trades. I don't know. You know, I do the handyman thing, so I start with handyman. But then I go to plumbers, electricians, painters, drywallers, uh, lawn maintenance guys, HVAC guys, landscapers, appliance repair, insulators, carpenters, masons, bricklayers, mechanics. You, somebody tell me which one of those jobs are easy. Because I don't know, and what what I don't want is to mislead people that either want to get into this work because I came from doing, you know, retail and, and, and fast food and, you know, I was young. So, but warehouse work, which wasn't easy either, but it wasn't as hard as this, but I did make more money <laughs> when I started getting into the trade. 
So, I mean, we got to figure something out uh, that, you know, uh, how we're going to get. Oh, and a disclaimer. Let me just say I'm just part of the video. I don't need nobody to come from my neck. The drywall is sitting on top of the carpet. So there's going to be a gap. The carpet's going to be taken out. Uh, and I use the carpet for my gap underneath. And then I cut the top of the drywall where I was going to tape so that that's where, uh, you know, that's where the, the line is going to be. She's not putting baseboard in either. So, I mean, so don't come from my neck, y'all. All right. So let me get back to the discussion. But just to let you know, this is kind of how I do it. It's almost like play by play, you know, so. I'm talking, and then I see something in the video, just like watching a basketball game or something. I go straight to that, and then I go right back to what I was talking about. So this is kind of my style, so, you know, work with me. All right, so, uh, but as far as people getting into the trades, that discussion, I mean, I, I want people to get into the trades just as much as anybody else. I mean, that's why I should do these videos, because I, I really think people aren't getting exposed the way they should be. But I also want to be realistic. Like, look, there is a reason why people ran to offices the first chance they got to. Um, and, and a lot of times the trades weren't paying what they should have been paying for the amount of work you were doing. Well, that been that's changed at this point. So it's definitely uh, time for people to get out here and get in these trades if you can. I just don't want to sell it like it's just a cakewalk. You know? There's a huge difference between something being simple and something being easy. Doing this drywall work for me at this point, it's simple. Uh, once you know how to do it, I mean, like I said, sanding this wall down, but it's not easy. You know, it's not easy to get it perfectly flat. I mean, um, get all the materials down, get everything in place, have all your measurements done properly and all that. That's not easy. After you've done it for a while, yeah, maybe it's simple. You know, uh, you're you're an appliance repair guy, for instance, and you know, <laughs> you, you might run into a problem that's a, a lid switch, right? That's simple. That's very simple. But the diagnosis, if you don't know what you're doing, it's not easy. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, ease is a is a, a relative term, and you know, I think we just throw it around too much. And I, you know, just want people to know you're going to get the trades. It's not going to be easy. You're going to come out here and you're going to sweat. You're going to work. Now, things are going to get more simple as time goes. But you are using your body to do this, to do this work. It's a trade off. And that's why I do believe that you want to get as much money as you can, because, you know, uh, you're trading in, you know, your body for the money. And the longer you do it. You know, so you want to make to me, you want to be like the police that can retire in 20 years. You don't want to do this for 30, 40 years. Uh, you want, but you want to make enough money where you can maybe transfer it into something else, or maybe you just own the company and then other people work for you. I mean, yeah, but the idea that, that it's just easy, no. And also, we don't want to devalue our own trades. Like, we're walking around telling, talking about how easy it is. What are we doing? quick aside as you see and now put primer on the walls walls are all sanded time for me to put the primer up man these things are looking good all right like i was saying i i just can't for the life of me understand why we would devalue our own trade i mean you walk around talking about how easy it is now don't get me wrong like you i don't know if anybody ever watches uh victory i think outdoor victory that they they guys that do the concrete um I mean, their slogan is easy money, but I mean, <laughs> at this point, that dude has every machine known to man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah you get to that point, it's, it's easy money. It's still some work, though, you know what I mean? But they make it, and then they also make it look easy. It's not as easy as it looks. I just don't like just people to, in general, devalue the, prof the professions. I mean, you know... Uh, the honest Carpenter, I don't know if you've ever watched his channel, but he did a video a while back that was called Where Have All the Carpenters Gone? And he talked about how the certain aspects of carpentry has been devalued. Now, trust me, I do, uh, if I do a job where I'm doing finished carpentry, 
finished carpenters still make good money, you know. Um, but there are a lot of aspects that, you know, people doing built-ins and stuff, and it was right about the IKEA furniture and all that, like, has devalued the profession. You know, I used to work with a guy that did drywall. He had a drywall business um, for installing drywall, and he had closed his doors and got a job with the state, with me, because he, he just couldn't make enough money uh, installing drywall anymore. So, you know, I'm not going to contribute to that. I want people to come into these trades because there are many reasons to come in. The, not only can you make good money, not only like once you learn a skill, you'll be able to feed yourself for a lifetime. You could drop me in the in the in the middle of Montana. I'll have I'll, I bet you I can make money by the end of the day. I bet I bet you that that somebody's going to need some service that I provide. That that's where you where you want to be, and, and and from that aspect, you could drop me in the middle of Brazil. I could do the same thing. So it's it's about that. It's about having a skill that that or skills that you can use for the rest of your life. You know, look at these flat walls, man. I mean, it's the thing of beauty. So, but and it's also fulfilling. Like I said, look at these flat walls, man. I mean. I started out with the roughest surface of all time. Now these things are smooth as eggs. Anybody, that's a Chappelle Show reference. All right. But anyway, that's where I am. Let's not devalue it. It's not easy, but it is worth it. It's fulfilling. It, it'll teach you something you can use for a lifetime. You'll make the most money you've ever made in your life, man. So like, comment, subscribe. Let's help us grow this thing, man. We're Like I told you, this is a movement. Handyman 2.0. We're just going to keep it going and going and going. We're going to get these trades out here and these skills up.